So I've been counting chemtrails lately because I've seen a lot of them within the last 10 minutes. This is trail number 7 actually. This is the 7th one that I have seen within 10 minutes. That's crazy. 7 chemtrails in 10 minutes? That's insane. But wait, let's see how many more pop up. So that's number 1. The moon is where... We're gonna we're gonna look at the moon because they've been going over the moon. That one went all the way over the moon and stuff. And I don't know, man. Maybe I'll talk about some other shit while we watch these chemtrails. Okay, there's a one minute gap. One minute gap, right? As soon as that one reaches, I don't know, by the clouds, another one's gonna pop up right over there. Let's see if I'm right or let's see if I'm wrong. Hashtag uh, the matrix is falling. What? The matrix is breaking. The matrix glitch. The matrix is crack. What do y'all niggas say? The matrix has fallen. No, the matrix. Hashtag Illuminati confirmed. Oh no, nigga, shit. But just watch, watch. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. Watch. As you can see, it's right over there. There's a chemtrail over there. Y'all see it, right? Y'all see it. As soon as it reaches those clouds, another one will appear over there. I kid you not. Y'all going to be shocked. You're going to be so shocked. Watch. There it goes. It hasn't reached the clouds. The clouds are right over there. Okay, it's pretty far from the clouds, but you'll see right over there, you'll see another one. It's going to appear. It's, it's like they're coming out of nowhere, honestly. I don't even know how to explain it. But that's the seventh one, and I can see the pattern now. Okay, it's almost there by the clouds. Almost by the clouds. You know? But while we wait for that, can I ask you a question? I will ask you a question. In a population of 7 billion people, if 4 billion were to die, what do you think would happen to the remaining 3? Do you have an answer? You can think about it if you want. I'll let you think about it. Maybe I'm just speculating here, you know, or what do scientists call this shit? Uh, 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 a theory? No, it's not a theory. It's a hypothesis. Oh, whatever the fuck it's called. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. I'm not a scientist. Well, in fact, I don't want anything to do with science. Because I feel like... Okay, 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 almost, almost there, as it, maybe you guys can't see where the clouds are. See that orange thing? That's the clouds, and it's almost there. Come on, don't embarrass me. What's the calculation? I'll, I'll say it's 20 minutes away. 20 minutes away. 20, 19, 18, 17, wait, let me zoom out. 16... 15, 14, 13, 12, oh wait, no, nah, that's not 20, that's not 20, that's more like, that's like 50 seconds away, I, I, I swear, it's right there, look, it hasn't even reached the clouds yet, but I know as soon as it reaches those clouds, another one will pop up over there, I'm not making this up. In fact, watch the video to see if I'm making this up. And if another one does pop up there, you have to share this video. That's the deal. You have to share it. We got to show other people that this shit is breaking. You know, time's up, man. Y'all cannot be joking around anymore. Shit is getting real. Okay, wait. Okay, it's reaching, it's reaching the clouds within. Let's see, my eyes say... 30 seconds. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and chemtrail! What the fuck? What's going on? What's going on? I swear. It should Oh, holy shit! There it is! Holy shit! I got that on video! I got that on video! There it is! There it is! Y'all said I was making this shit up! Illuminati confirmed! There, bruh! Holy shit! I told you! And there it is! Look, the clouds! I counted that shit down for you! <laughs> Oh man, oh man, I, I'm telling you man, some weird shit going on man, some weird shit. Y'all think I'm lying? Look, look, I'm gonna zoom it out for you. There it is, there it is. I was counting down with you guys. Wow, there is a, that's chemtrail number eight. It's like a pattern, I don't know. As soon as it hits the clouds... It's like it gets teleported back there, and then it does the same thing over and over again. What does it mean? There it is. There. I'm not making it up. I am not making it up. Shit. <sighs> For, I finally caught them slipping. I don't even think this video is going to be allowed on YouTube, right? Who knows, man? Maybe they might send the fucking men in black for me. That's if they have the balls to do so. Shit. Might want to Google who I am before they come around fucking with me. <laughs> but, 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 for real though. Look at that. Y'all thought I was, y'all thought I was joking, right? Y'all were like, oh no, this dude's just, I feel sorry for the dudes that left the video. That were like, ah, screw this guy. We're just going to leave. Look, there it is. I told you. As soon as that damn, as soon as the other one hits the clouds, another one shows up right over there. It's a pattern. It is a pattern. This is, this is what, number eight? This is chemtrail number eight. The one before was chemtrail number seven. I watched the first one, then I watched the second one, and I was like, damn. If you see two in a row, that's not good. Then I watched the third one. Then I watched the fourth one, and I'm like, wait, I, I, I think I can see something here. That, what's going on? Why are they all following each other? You know, that's what I thought. And then I saw the fifth one. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? And I saw the sixth one, and I was like, what's the gap here? What's the gap? There's got to be a gap. I I can see that as soon as that one touches the, the clouds, another one shows up. What does it mean? And then when, when it came to the seventh one, I just decided to start recording this shit to show y'all. I'm telling you, man. Some weird shit going on. Some weird shit going on. They don't want to tell us about it. Hmm. That's, that's what? That's eight in a row in less than ten minutes, bruh. It's been what? Nah, not even ten minutes. In less than twenty minutes because just these two alone, it took, what? 10 minutes. The other ones were going faster. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what happened. Because I was like 2, 1. And then it seems like I might have been wrong by a few seconds there. But hey man. I told you. I told you. I told you. If it shows up when I hit 1. You guys have to share this video. You got to share this video. There it is over there. As you, I don't know if you can see it. Follow the line. The line is going to the clouds over there. Oh man, the clouds are spreading out. Now you can't see it because I have such a bad camera. Don't you find it weird how <laughs> all the phenomenal shit that gets captured is always on a bad camera? I used to think about that. I used to be like, why is it that everything that's important is captured on a bad camera? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe that's why scientists don't want to fix that Zoom shit, you know? I mean, we know phone tech companies can obviously create a phone that can zoom in well, like a camera or some shit like that. But they don't. Why? 
Maybe it's because they don't want us to capture shit that's far away. Y'all ever thought about that? They don't want us. They want every single shot to be fucked up so that they can be like, Oh no, it's photoshopped, it's video edited, you know, something. Yeah, right. I'd like to see them try to tell me that this is video edited. How? Do I look like that? Do I even sound like the type of dude that has the skills to do that editing shit, bruh? Like, come on. I have a life. I have a life. Okay? I'm not gonna waste my time trying to prove to you niggas. Oh, wait. It's all, it's almost by the clouds. See, it's, it's almost by the clouds. Number nine is gonna show up soon. Because that one is almost by the clouds, but it's not there yet. It's not there yet. But another one will show up. Ha oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I got that on camera, bruh. For, for a moment, I, I, I doubted myself. I was like, maybe they got me, you know. I was like, maybe this time it's not going to show up. Maybe they're watching me and they're like, we're going to make you look so stupid. But then it showed up and I'm like, oh, fuck it. I was right. I was right. As usual. <laughs> oh, man. This is by far the greatest evidence. Like, honestly, people will even try to crack jokes because that's how they do it. Every time someone captures this video, they send their bots into the... The comment section, you know, the bots be like, ah, you're so funny. How are you funny? You got them. I know what app you're using, you know. That's that's the problem. People, people are not smart enough to realize that, hey, all these guys saying, oh, no, this is not real. This is fake. They're the bots. Those are not real people. Those are people that, those are bots that I just send out to make someone seem, oh, wait, it's it's almost, I'd say a few seconds away, maybe 20 seconds away. It's almost by the clouds, which means another one should be appearing there pretty soon. I'm not going to count down now because I don't want to fuck up my previous one. Because y'all will be like, oh no, he got lucky. <laughs> nah, I didn't get lucky, but I'm telling you, another one's going to show up there. I don't even want to capture the, oh wait, I don't know if y'all can see where the other one is. There are the clouds, and there it is, way over there. Y- y'all cannot see it so far, but I guarantee you another one will show up here, which is going to be number nine. Number nine. I'm telling you, bruh. I don't even, even want to, like, capture number nine because I know people will be like, oh, nah, he just put the video in a loop or something because niggas be making up any reason to push you away from the truth. That's the truth right there. Y'all just witnessed the truth with your own eyes. There's some weird shady shit going on, okay? Some weird... Watch the news. I'm, I'm, I'm capturing this in Turkey. I don't even have to lie and be like, I'm not in Turkey because, oh no. Don't tell them where you are. They already know where I'm at, you know? They know, when I post this video on YouTube, they're going to know where I posted it from, what time, my house, and they'll know everything about me within, what, 20 minutes? So I don't even, I'm not even going to try and, like, hide. I don't, I honestly don't think it's such a big deal that these dudes are going to, like, try to find me because of a video. They can just literally delete the video. (laughs) Maybe even delete my entire account and be like, oh, no, something happened to your account, you know. So it's not that big of a deal. It all depends on who believes it and who doesn't. But I'm telling you, that was some spooky shit, boy. That was some spooky shit right over there, bruh. That was some spooky shit, and y'all niggas witnessed that shit. (laughs) Yo, look at the moon. The moon's been getting bigger and bigger. It's been looking more beautiful lately. I don't know what it means. And I don't know if you guys noticed there's a star right on top of the moon. Like right above it, there's a star that shines brighter than all the other stars. I don't know if y'all noticed that. I know. Hmm. That's eight Kim trails. It seems like number nine is not going to show up. Maybe they just needed eight. No, that's an even number. 
I thought it's gonna stop at 10 or something. But apparently it's just gonna stop at 8. You know? Huh. Should I stop the video now? Wait, let, let's, let me wait for... I'll give it two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, oh yeah, I asked you in a population of 7 billion, if 4 billion were to die, what would happen to the remaining 3? Well, according to my calculations, this is if I'm right, uh, the remaining 3 would become stronger, smarter, and faster. They would even live longer. Because you see, I believe that human beings are connected, we are all connected, and... We're linked in a way, you know, and when a lot of us die, that energy that was within them, it either goes back to the core or it's divided between us, you know, so the energy either goes back to whatever created it or it's divided between us, and if it is divided between us, then it would make us stronger and faster and smarter and we would live longer. That's what evolution is for. For human beings to evolve, a huge number needs to die. We literally have to be pushed into that traumatic state, you know. I don't know if what's going on this year in 2020, all this death and all that murder and all these bad things happening, if that's like to like cause trauma for human beings to evolve i don't know man who knows maybe after all this shit is like fixed and stuff we might actually start having flying cars and shit who knows maybe that's not it seems like chemtrail number nine is not showing up yeah it's not showing up it's not i guess number eight was the last one which means they just needed eight chemtrails i wonder why why eight Yo, look at the moon. Look at the moon. <laughs> it's right on top of that building. That's so funny. How weird is that? That is so weird. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. Can y'all see the moon? You should see it with your own eyes. If you can see this with your eyes, it's like, what? It looks so weird, bruh. It's as if that building was literally created just for the moon almost as if these buildings are a calendar wow that's no for real it's like these buildings are a calendar to like keep track of the moon in a way because around january the moon was on that one right and then they moved to the second one to the third one and now it's on the last one Makes me wonder, where's it going to go next? That's crazy. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. There's no way that those things are like a calendar for a moon. <laughs> no way. Maybe not even a, ca a calendar. Probably a stargate. But there's no way. Nobody believes in that shit. <laughs> right? Right? Right. So as I was saying, that's the only possibility. It's either the energy goes back to its creator or the energy is divided amongst us. It depends on how you look at it. If you believe that God is somewhere watching over us, you know, or if you believe that we are God and we just like divided our energy so that we could experience life. Then if you look at it like that, you'd have to say that if 4 billion people were to die, the remaining 3 billion would definitely become stronger. And out of the 3 billion, if 2 billion were to die, the 1 billion would be so strong that it would be godlike in a way. And if you put it in that sense, it would mean that it would make more sense as to why the people in the Bible, when you read about the Bible, you find out that the people there, they could live up to like 500 years, 800 years, even past 1,000 years, maybe the reason is because there were less people around those times of Noah and stuff, you feel me? 
So it's like, yeah, because there were less people, people could live longer, you know? So I I don't know. Maybe I'm just bullshitting, <laughs> you know? I'm just, I'm speculating, you know? I'm speculating. This is just a theory of mine. If I wasn't so lazy, I would actually write a book on this. Call it Aston the Third's legendary book. You know, the theory of existence. That's what I'll call it. The theory of existence. I am everything, therefore I am nothing. Woo! I'm telling you, bruh. <laughs> I've got to be one of the top 10 smartest human beings on this planet. Really. I've got to be. I'm, I'm just smart. I'm really, I'm really smart. For my age, I'm smart. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. I'm a freaking genius. I mean, think about it. I am everything. Therefore, I am nothing. Wow. Wow. I'm everything, therefore I'm nothing. That's my theory of existence. It's just that simple. <laughs> so yeah, man, if y'all want to be gods so bad, just kill each other until there's one billion of you. It w I find that ironic in a way, how like, the one thing that God hates is sex. Like, I wouldn't say hate because God cannot hate, but it makes him angry more than any other sin. That would be sex, right? So imagine if sex is literally the one thing that's going to kill mankind. Like, he's like, yo, I did warn you about sex, right? I warned you not to do that too many times. Y'all are adulterous. Well, you're about to see the results of what? Your adulterous behavior is going to do to you. So human beings keep being adulterous and stuff, right? And then they reach a certain population. Let's say we move from 7 billion to 10 billion within three years. How long do you think we'd be able to live? Let's see. If now there's 7 billion people on this planet and we can live only up to what? 70 years? That's if you're lucky, you know? Nah, 70 years is the average rate for all of us. I'm talking people my age. I'm not talking about the older day people because you have to think they come from a different line of people. We are a new era, the 2000s, because I'm one of the 2000s, you know? We are a new era. So our, our era, I'd say, I'd estimate, since we were born around, what, 6 billion I'd, I have to say, most of us will make it to 50, and we'll make it to 80 if we're lucky, and anyone that makes it to 100 years old, <laughs> shit, you, you blessed, <laughs> you blessed, my guy, if you make it to 100 years old, you're blessed, unlike in the olden days, in the 19s, the 1990s or whatever, People used to live up to 120 years old, you know, that's when you were lucky. But on an average rate, people used to die around 90, 99, you know. But my generation, I feel like my generation will, will die around 60 or 70. But 90 if we're lucky. And if we make it to 100, it's a miracle, you know. So, yeah, that's just my theory. So the more people they are on this planet, the weaker we become. And the less people they are, the stronger we become. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, it's got to make sense. I, I cannot take credit and say, I, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my voice, man. I've been talking for so much. <laughs> I cannot say that I I, I, I I take credit of this. Honestly, I got the idea when I saw the movie The One. You know, the movie The One with Jet Li and stuff. 
is where he travels the multiverse, killing different versions of himself just to become stronger, so he could become the one, you know. And for each version of himself he kills, the stronger he becomes, because that energy is divided between the remaining ones, you feel me? So I figured human beings are the same, right? We're, we're connected too. You might not see it, but we are connected. As someone that's traveled a lot since I've been I've been in Turkey and Africa and and uh, I've been all over the place. I've been all over the world, right, traveling. And I've actually traveled to live with people for like a year and study them. I've learned that human beings are the same. Asian people are actually the same as African people, you know. It's like Asian people... And African people are counterparts, if you know, in some way. Because if you look at the way they're raised, the way they live, their beliefs, it's the same. I swear, it is the same. Even their clothing, their styles, their weapon of choice, I swear, it's the same thing, man. I don't see the difference. It, the only difference is the skin color. But the actions, behavior, it's the same thing, you know. So I've I've been... I, I've seen this in them, you know, in black African people and in Asian people. I've realized that, yeah, they're, we're all the same, you know. Each race has its own counterpart, but I can definitely see that Asian and African is the same shit. I, I don't want to lie. Y'all have to study it. Y'all have to study, especially the way of the samurai. The way of the samurai, you can tell that... It's the same as, I don't know, the way of other tribes in Africa. Just Google uh, uh, just Google Asian people traditions and Google African traditions and you will see what I'm talking about. Oh shit, there's number nine. There's chemtrail number nine. Oh, he thought he was slick. He thought he was going to get away from me and I wasn't going to see his ass. Caught you, nigga. <laughs> anyway, ah, anyway, so you just have to like watch this to like learn more about human beings and stuff. So I figured, hey, if human beings can be so familiar or so alike in a way, does that mean because, because like I said, right now I'm in Turkey and I'm I'm listening to some of the beliefs they believe here, right? And when it comes to what do, what are those things called? Um, do you believe in superstitions? When it comes to superstitions, all human beings are the same. Like everybody has the same superstition, right? Do not pick up money under this. Do not throw money. Do not walk backwards. That's bad luck. Do not do this. And even in Africa, they believe the same things. But how is it that they believe the same things, you know? And those are the questions people don't ask. How is it that you can travel the world and find out that every single person has the same superstition? How? Why? Why is it that people, why is it that human beings believe in the same thing? Is it possible to say that we don't believe it, but we know in a way? Maybe they're not superstitions. Maybe that's the intel that our mind has collected for the source, you know? The same way a baby that's born knows that it's got to grab the nipple and start breastfeeding, you know. You don't have to teach the, a baby. This is just information that you're given. It just comes from the source. So, the same way, it's like, it's like let's say human beings have never touched fire in their life, okay. And then there's this one human being that decides to touch fire, and it hurts him so much that that information now travels back to the source. And the source now takes that information and brings it back to everyone, you know. That intel, that just that in information alone from touching that fire, it travels back to the creator. And the creator sends it back to us. So now everyone around the world will think twice before touching fire. They won't even know it's bad, right? But... They'll think about touching it and they'll some way doubt themselves like, should I? I got a feeling we shouldn't touch that. I don't know why, but 
my gut is telling me we should not touch that thing, you know? And the more people that touch the fire, the more human beings around the world that have not touched the fire, they'll know just don't touch it. You won't even have to tell them. It'll ultimately just lead to that conclusion that, nope, you just don't touch that. You feel me? The same way you can say when you ask someone, what does pee taste like? What does your urine taste like? It's salty. That's what I be saying. I be saying it's salty. But I've never drank urine, so how would I know? You know? How do you know it's salty? Anyone. Just walk up to anyone and ask them, what does urine taste like? What does pee taste like? They'll tell you it's salty. Salty and warm. How do you know? It's obvious we got people out there that be drinking urine. And that information is just, it's come back to us, you know? Information is like divided between all of us. And it just goes back to the source and the source just redirects it back to us. It's almost like... The internet, the way the internet works, you feel me? Except this is more like a universal internet, you know? I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a good teacher when it comes to these sort of things. But that's just my theory, you know? So I figured, hey. Okay, number nine has almost reached the clouds. Let's see if number ten is going to show up there. So it's almost like... It's almost like... uh. Because we're connected, you know, in a way, we are connected. I I know that for a fact that human beings are connected. Just looking at how a human being behaves, the things they will say, do, I can tell that, yeah, we are all connected. It's just that sometimes you get those human beings, like me, that are different from the other human beings. I, I don't know how to explain what I am, because... You know, I don't think it's normal for a human being to be looking at other human beings with such curiosity. I swear I'll be looking at y'all niggas like, damn, what the hell are you? (laughs) You know, I don't know. Maybe you guys also look at people sometimes and you're just curious as to how they work. 